today your government will release its uh, fall economic statement. The Ontario Chamber of Commerce has said, and I quote, Ontarians should be very concerned about the direction in which the province is headed. Your inability to take urgent action is costing hard-working Ontarians over $11 billion in interest annually to pay for liberal waste and mismanagement. That's taxpayers' money that could be invested in frontline health care, first-rate education, reliable roads and transit. The interim report by Ed Clark is proof your government will not make the tough decisions to reduce spending to balance the books because you directed him to tinker around the edges. Premier, will you admit that today's fall economic statement will do nothing to tackle the urgency raised by the Ontario Chamber of Commerce? Thank Congress. you. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Well, first of all, let me say that it is always a pleasure and a privilege to work with the Ontario Chamber of Commerce. I know that the uh, the summit that was held just a number of days ago was uh, very, very productive, and uh, they, you know, in their report, which I believe is called Emerging Stronger, Emerging Stronger, which actually reflects what is going on in Ontario, Mr. Speaker, having uh, come out of the uh, economic downturn and still, and still recovering, Mr. Speaker, but strength is exactly the direction that we're going in, and in fact, the, the fact that we've created over our uh, over 550,000 jobs have been created in Ontario, Mr. Speaker, since the 2009 recessionary low. The fact that the unemployment rate is at 6.5 percent, the lowest unemployment rate since October 2008. Yes, Those are indicators of just how this province is emerging stronger than ever, Mr. Speaker. Well, Premier, you know, we remember the Drummond Report. And we're seeing it again in Ed Clark's interim report. Premier, you cannot balance the budget on the backs of beer drinkers. Today's fall economic statement will confirm what Drummond and Clark have already told us, that the Liberal government will not make those tough decisions. They will not rein in spending. They will continue to dig Ontario deeper in an economic hole, despite how many reports you end up commissioning. Commuters, students, seniors will suffer because of this government's reckless mismanagement. Premier, will you finally come clean to Ontarians that your fall economic statement and will admit that you have no hope to balance the budget by 2017-2018? Thank you. Well, Mr. Speaker, let me just, uh, let me just answer the, uh, the um, statement in his question about the reports that we have asked for. So the Drummond report, Mr. Speaker, over 80% of the recommendations that uh, Don Drummond put forward, we have acted upon, Mr. Speaker, and there is chapter and verse on that, and the member opposite knows that. He knows full well that that information was available in our budget, and he can access it anytime, Mr. Speaker. In terms of the recommendations that have been uh, put forward in the interim report by Ed Clark and his panel, we we ran on the reality and the expectation that we would be maximizing our assets, maximizing the assets that are owned by the people of Ontario. The Commission Answer. has given us advice, Mr. Speaker, and we are going to follow through on that, and he will see that in our fall economic statement, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Final supplementary. Back again, uh, Speaker, to the Premier. Ontario's projected $12.5 billion deficit this year is larger than every other province and the federal government combined. There's really nothing complicated about deficits and the debt. They're simply deferred taxes that will either have to be paid for by future generations and inevitable cuts to public services. Paying off Ontario's debt alone without reducing the annual debt by one penny costs provincial taxpayers almost $11 billion wow. annually, more than the province pays for any other public service aside from frontline health care and education. Premier, will, you, will, will your fall economic statement truthfully tell Ontarians that because of your out-of-control spending, will you continue to waste billions of dollars on debt interest payments, Question. and will you finally admit that you know, have no plan to balance the books? Thank you. Premier. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And the President of the Treasury Board beside me is asking for one idea from the, uh, the opposite side in terms of how we could uh, continue to emerge. An idea apart from cutting 100,000 jobs, Mr. Speaker, because that actually, that actually is an idea that would hold us back. So let's look at the facts. Ontario's unemployment rate, 6.5%, the lowest unemployment rate since October 2008. October's net job numbers, Mr. Speaker, up 
37,000 jobs in Ontario, Mr. Speaker, in October. Over 90 per cent of those are full-time, Mr. Speaker. Ontario continues to be first in North America for foreign direct investment. The reality is that we are emerging stronger. And the, the member opposite says that that's a simple thing. Answer. It's actually not. There are many fronts on which we have to operate. One is working with the private sector to make sure that jobs are created. Another is investing in infrastructure, Thank Mr. You. Speaker, and that is the work that we are doing right now. Thank you. The member from Lionheart, Farnock, Lennox, and Abington. Thank you, Speaker.